warm greetings to all of you. I am very thankful to our headmaster, Mr. J. Rexpin Sekar, because he is the sole motivating factor for this program. Also, I am grateful to my colleagues and my life students and their parents. Now, due to lockdown, we are at home and uh, now you are preparing for this uh, examination. Now, in English, we have some, some, sometimes some, some doubts. Now, we are going to clarify it. Now, we take this time, English question paper is only one paper. So, it's very easy to pass. Now, first one is synonyms and antonyms that we already studied, especially in our Friday question paper. First revision test, second revision test, third revision test. Along with, I have given to you six PTA question papers with the key. Do you remember it now? Students, now you have to recall all these question papers because the key is there. It's very easy for you to find out the answers and to stay. Also, now at present you have to take a notebook and a pen with you so that you can write down the things you don't understand. Synonyms, no important synonyms, uh, I'm going to tell now. Devote, the word devote. Many times we discuss no. What's the meaning of this? To eat eagerly. Can you tell no? Devote, to eat eagerly. Like this no? Spill, to move quickly. To move quickly, we say spill. Now, intuitively. That means instinctively. Also, we have studied you know, anticipate to expect. Announced, declared. Say once again, announced, declared. Likewise, you know, attempt, effort. Attempt means effort. Cranky, strange. Cranky, strange. Cranky, strange. You know, many times we have seen you know, these are things very important. Like this, you know, frail, frail, frail. I told you, know, weak or delicate. And you know, uh, contention. That means dispute. So as far as uh, this synonyms is concerned, as I have told, go through all these question papers and along with this you can study this, then uh, most probably you get synonyms. Now antonyms now. Most of the antonyms you know, for example, ability, disability. Likewise, uh, appear, disappear. So these are the things it's very easily, we can, if the questions are asked, you can answer. But sometimes, different on things demand supply demand supply likewise uh, locate dislocate or misplace some of them has two answers possible for example locate misplace or dislocate likewise you know uh, timidity bravely timidity bravely so changes comes like this now the next important question is the seventh one is Plural forms. So plural forms, though it seems to be very easy, but some of the rules already we have said many times. Even the ninth standard I have explained to you in our grammar notebook I have written. For example, singular and plural. I have told you now if a word ends in mm, we say ah. For example, datum, d a t u m, datum, mm. But what is the this uh, plural form we have right now? We remove that um and we put a. Datum, data. Like this, you know, if a word ends in is, no, instead of is, we put es. Analysis, analysis. So remove is and put es. Like this, if a word ends in a. We put a for plural. All gay. All gay, we say. Like this, u s. If a word ends in u a, and we put u s. Cactus, cacti. Nucleus, nuclei. Like this, no? If two o comes in a word in the middle, instead of two o, we put two e. Tooth. T O O T H tooth, we say teeth. The plural form is teeth. Like this, no? If a word ends in E X, we put instead of E X C E X index indexes. 
like this now if your word ends in f r f e in the singular we remove f r f e and put b s example knife we say knives leaf leaves so please go through these rules so that it's very easy for you to do the exam in a perfect manner now the next eighth question is prefix and suffix brief means before and suffix means later that's after we say like that no for example the word you take deed d e e d deed so we can add one word in that means indeed like is popular we say unpopular this is prefix before we put some word and you know suffix means at the end of the word the given word we add something for example a point we say but uh, if the word meant you can add appointment now appear appearance we say now like is dark darkness so these are the prefix and suffix now the most important one from 8th standard onwards you go through like this abbreviations cctv can you say what is cctv closed circuit television like with gps global positioning system gps now iq intelligent question kg we only buy things now by kg we buy that means kilogram kg means kilogram now sim we say sim card no subscriber identity module the very easiest one now sbi many times we say what is sbi state bank of india so students the now onwards you start to study question number 1 to 9 the next class we can meet with the cheerfulness from the questions 10 onwards thank you for your